Okay. Now, counting methods. Again, really fast part of your diploma, so you want to know how to do these. We're on page 13. Now, it doesn't get much easier than example one. You've got three types of, but like how many different uh, subs could you make if you there's three different buns, there's five different cold cuts, there's five, three types of cheese, 12 different toppings, and three sauces. All you have to do is multiply them together. Three times five times three times 12 times three, and you get 1,620. And I just got those numbers from there. Okay. Now, a student is writing a 10 question multiple choice. How many choices do you have for the, f so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many choices do you have for the first? Four. Okay, does that affect your next choice? No, it's four all the way. Okay, so simple multiple choice or numerical response question. Well, it wouldn't be numerical response because it's too big. Because you get 4 to the 10, right? Because that's 4 times 4. Gershon, you might want this stuff. Okay, so you get 1,048,576 different sets of answers you could give. Okay, now I don't know if you remember much about fact no factorial notation, right? But how you would do this one, you, you count down the one that's bigger. So it's 9 times 8 factorial, oops, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial over 6 factorial. Those will cancel. And then you just multiply 9 times 8 times 7, which is 504. Okay. Now, in B, you want to cancel something, so start just making this 9 times 8 factorial over 5 times 8 factorial. Those cross out. It's 9 times 8 is 72. Or, t or 10 times 9. Uh, I don't know why I did 9 times 8. Sorry, 10 times, that's 90 divided by 5 is 18. Yeah, multiply 10, don't multiply by 8, you cross it out. Okay, now, also could be given it to us in this way. Now, which one's bigger, the top or the bottom in this case? The top. So, this would be n plus 2 times n plus 1 times n factorial all over n factorial. This equals 20. These cross out. Now I have n plus 2 times n plus 1 equals 20, and I've got to find 20. Now, if you have this, we can get fancy, okay? I can multiply it all together. I can bring the 20 over, or, right? We really want to get strategic with this in y1. Whoop, make sure plot 1 isn't on. One thing you guys have to understand is there will not be any math teachers in that diploma. And I still have students that are getting errors on their calculator. I'm just, oh my God, but it doesn't work, right? And I'll say your plot one is on, right? So if you're in your diploma and you still don't understand that a plot one is on and you're not doing stat stuff, <coughs> it kills it, right? It stops the, okay? But anyway, you go X plus two times, or you don't have to do times there. <coughs> times x plus 1. And in y2, let's put 20. Now, if you hit zoom 6, zoom 6 only does, like go to your windows, it only goes up to 10, right? So if your y2 is 20, you better make your y max like 30. Now, you're going to get two answers. One is going to be a negative answer, and the, well, and the other one will be positive. We want the positive answer because n is the number. So we're going to go second trace, 5, and get over here. Enter, enter, enter. And you will get n to equal 3. 
Okay, and you can try it out, right? So you go 3 plus 2 times 3 plus 1, that is 5 times 4, 20 equals 20, right? You got it. The other one was negative 6, but you can't have a negative n. Okay. Jordan has 20 CDs in her car. Her CD players hold 6 CDs. How many different ways can her can she load the CD player? Okay. So we have 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many can I put in the first? Well, there's how many choices do I have for that first one? 20 times 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. See, order does matter. Or you would go 20, pick 6, right? There is 20 CDs. I will pick 6. So fundamental counting principle works both when you're not repeating. Do you see in the multiple choice question? Order mattered, but we weren't repeating. So that's how we had to go 4 times 4 times 4. And this gives you, what, 27 million nine hundred and seven thousand two hundred. Okay. See if you remember how to do this one. 11 letters in the word mathematics. How many different arrangements are possible? Good. What are my repeats? Okay. How many M's, though? Two M's. Two A's. Two T's. I just said P, and I'm like, what? Okay, good. That was my mind. Okay, so there's 11 letters. Please count them. Okay. So we got 11 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial. Gives you 4,989,600. You'd be surprised how often they don't care about the answer. This, they may just ask, what would be a way to solve this one? And this could be just one of your choices in A, B, C, or D. Or another thing that I've, I've seen, they do this as a numerical response, and they will say, write down the last four digits of the number. Okay, let people concentrate, okay, guys? Okay, now this one's definitely a harder one, but we have a piano teacher and her students are having a group photo. There's three boys, five girls. If the photographer wants the boys to sit together, that's a group. Wants the girls to sit together for one of the poses. How many ways can the students and the teacher in a row of nine sit for this pose? So do you see we basically have three groups? We have the boys. They're one group. We have the girls as another group because they're staying together and then we have the teacher as a group. So that's where we get our three factorial. Remember, we do our three groups. Now, how many ways can you arrange the boys within that group? Three factorial. Good. So then we multiply by within each group. That's three factorial. The girls would be five factorial and the teacher would be one factorial. Now, I know one factorial is one, but I'm just displaying how we arrange it within our groups. And you will get 4,320. Okay, now we're just going to do... Uh, now, just for this one, switch this to A and this to B. Usually, you would just turn your book upside down to do it. You get the same answer anyway. But these you have to do by, you put your ones across here, remember? And remember, you can only go down and right. So we're going to add these two together. That's two. These two together to get three. And three plus one is four. One plus two is three. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. Now, this might be new for you because we didn't do much of these, but these will become 10s as well because there's basically zeros coming into them from this way, right? So that's kind of the only trick is that since there's zeros coming in from the top, you just keep it as 10s. 
now you just go like we've always gone. 3 plus 1 is 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. 6 plus 10 is 16. 10 plus 6. Oops. 10 plus 10 is 20. I can't read my own writing. Okay. This is 30. 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. 60. Now, do you see what would come down here? A 10 and down here? Because there's basically zeros coming in from the right. Okay, then we 10 plus that's 30. 30 plus 30 is 60. 60 plus 40 is 100. 100 plus 50 is 150. And this is 210. We're almost done. Then 30 plus 10 is 40. 40 is 100. 200. 350 and 560. Yep. Now, just to qualify that most times they'll do ones like this. Right? So this, you just count how many, from A to B, how many blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six factorial divided by how many downs? Three factorial, how many rights? Three factorial. Remember we did those? This, I'm sure, is going to be the more common way they're just going to do it. <coughs> count how many blocks to get there, how many downs, how many rights. That doesn't work for the one we just did. You have to count that one old school. But this one still works very good if you did ones here, ones here. Okay, example nine. Six players are chosen to start a volleyball game of ten players. Now, this one, the assumption is that order doesn't matter because they didn't talk about positions. Okay, so you would have ten players. You will choose six to get 210. <coughs> order matters, perm. Order doesn't matter, calm, right? The student council is forming a committee. There's nine men, ten women who volunteered. How many different ways can a committee of four people be chosen in each situation below? Okay, well, if you're just picking four people and there's no conditions, well, I have 19 and I will choose four which is 3, 8, 7, 6. Now there must be an equal number of men and women on the committee. What's that saying? How many men? Two. So you have nine men, I will choose two. You have ten women, I will choose two. <coughs> and you get 1,620. Yes, multiply together. Okay, so today you should have time to finish the assignment. We're doing page 16 to 20.